Hey guys, it's uh, DP Carol again coming at you from the Airstream trailer. I'm here today to talk with you about um, a topic I've seen uh, issues with a lot lately in check rides. Um, seems to me like there's been a lot of generations of flight instructors that have rolled over real quick of late. And the problem with that can be at times that uh, people don't always get a lot of practice at getting good at their jobs. Some people are fantastic right off the bat, don't get me wrong. Okay, and I appreciate the hard job that flight instructors have. Um, it's not that much pay for the amount of brain power and hard work that you're having to put in. You're having to keep a track of a thousand details um, and try to impart knowledge and safety practices <laughs> to your students. So, um, it's a tough job, but um, it is a very important responsibility we have. So, um, I have seen, however, though, um, that in general, um, lately especially, it, perhaps because of the multiple generations of flight instructors all teaching each other and all teaching each other, perhaps just a little bit with a little bit less excellence each generation, perhaps. I don't know, I'm guessing. Is that now I'm seeing applicants come to me at all levels, private through CFI applicants, who have glaring holes in their basic airmanship skills, okay, of all kinds. Recently, I've seen major issues with collision avoidance procedures. Um, <laughs> this has been a number of things. Um, I saw it the other day where um, I told the applicant, um, all right, um, let me give you a, a vector, turn to a heading of, let's say, whatever, this heading, and um, let's use this as a clearing turn, okay? Um, and I said that so we could both be looking outside. We had already briefed exactly how we were going to do the clearing turns, um, what was acceptable, etc. And this applicant did something that unfortunately I've seen a lot, which is focus completely staring on their instruments and not look outside at all. Not one iota, not for one second. <laughs> I was the only person looking outside the airplane. <laughs> and... Um, I watched this person for a while, a couple of these things doing this, and I said, well, I know he's nervous. Let's see. So, um, here's the thing. Um, I can tell that some applicants are not, <laughs> uh, that students are not being made to do clearing turns by their instructors in everyday practice between maneuvers. And I can tell because they don't know, some of them literally cannot make a turn while simultaneously looking outside effectively for traffic. This is sad. All right. So, um, this is not something that's optional. This is the basics of survival and safety as a pilot, all right? Um, in 27 years of professional flying of jets, turboprop, seaplanes, ski planes, off airport, um, bush flying, you name it, in the state of Alaska, the only two times I came really close to dying was in a pattern, all right? One was towered. One was untowered, all right? And so the only reason I am alive today in those two instances is because there was a split second where I saw an aircraft and was able to maneuver the airplane away when another pilot made a very unexpected maneuver, all right? So literally, there's a reason this is important, guys. Now, I've seen a lot of folks who are operating in Northern California uh, within um, an ADSB required ring area, okay, around the Bay Area. Um, some of these people are the prime suspects for not looking outside the airplane. This tells me that there's an over dependence on ADSB, 
and a misunderstanding of its role, okay? Primarily, we look outside and use our eyeballs. We listen on the radio and the screen is advisory, all right? Having that screen does not allow you to not do clearing turns. And um, there's good reasons for that, okay? There can be traffic in an ADSB required ring that is allowed for that day on a temporary allowance, okay? Um, there, it could be that you are in an area of the world that's not like the ring that you're used to, and there could be lots of airplanes that don't show up on your ADSB in screen, okay? So please, please, please learn effective collision avoidance procedures. It will literally save your life or someone else's, okay? It is your responsibility as a pilot. Um, and any DPE is going to hold you to this. Now, how are you going to do it? All right. Well, CFIs. Read the Airplane Flying Handbook. Okay. And there's plenty of other things. There's ACs. There's all sorts of stuff. Okay. But as a beginner, all right, just a top level here. Okay. We have collision avoidance procedures right in 1-10, all right, of the Airplane Flying Handbook. It talks in here about what is an effective scan pattern, how our eyes work, um, what about if it's a high wing or low wing airplane, things we need to look out for, all right? This stuff is real. It happens, okay? All you got to do is go look at aviation accidents reports, accident reports, and you understand why the FAA and DPEs and other experienced pilots take this very seriously. Okay, so what do I expect to see on your check ride? All right, if you are in a high wing Cessna 172 or 152, as most of you are, <clears throat> ideally you should be looking left before you ever lower your left wing, for instance. Okay, why? If you lower your left wing before you look, then you are effectively blinded and you might as well not even look left because all you can see is directly below your tire, okay? Um, number one, sometimes this can, you can learn a pattern for this that's helpful, a habit pattern, by saying to yourself out loud, look left, turn left, okay? Um, or look right, turn right. So first you're going to look left, then you're going to lower your wing, okay? <laughs> and then um, during your clearing turn, for instance, I want to see you actually looking outside. <laughs> I mean, at least some. <laughs> Ideally, you you know and CFIs are teaching what is an effective scan pattern, okay? If you're literally only looking outside for one millisecond during this clearing turn and your eyes are going from here to here that quick, guess what? Almost might as well not even look, all right, because it's not effective. So please read it. Read what the FAA has to say, uh, instructors. Practice it and teach it, all right? Um, in the traffic pattern, I will be watching where your eyes are, okay? I will be watching to see, uh, is this applicant looking before they make their turns in the pattern, all right? Ideally, I will see you check final because have you ever realized, been in a non-towered airport pattern yet where somebody did something unexpected or Maybe they thought they were transmitting, but they weren't. Or any number of things can happen um, where you get cut off in the pattern, okay? This is why you got to look, okay? It'll save your life. Um, so um, I will be looking where your eyes are <laughs> during your clearing turns, before your clearing turns, in the pattern, you name it, all right? Because I care. I want you to stay alive and I want safe pilots out there in the national airspace system, okay? So, um, do the research, guys. Get in the habit. Work hard. It's important. It's a basic item that you're going to carry with you your entire life flying. And I want your life to be long flying. So, study hard. Thanks for listening, guys.